Um, basically, if no one knows, uh, your pancreas basically stops producing insulin, which is what your body uses to like regulate itself and with like give yourself energy basically. And um, so my pancreas is broken, doesn't produce any. So I have to calculate like how much carbohydrates I eat and then factor in my blood sugar with that and then basically give myself insulin. Luckily right now I do have a pump so I just type in a number like how many carbs I had and my blood sugar what that number is and it calculates everything for me and like gives it to me. But before that I had to do all the math and uh, figure out how much units of insulin I needed and had to draw a vial and I also had to poke my finger like every single time before I ate or if I felt like my blood sugar was low or high, I had to poke my finger, get the number, and yeah. And then after that, um, I did have a pen, which was like basically the same thing, but you can just like twist, like like an EpiPen kind of, how many units you would need, and then inject it. So you wouldn't have to like draw a vial and like get the air bubbles out. It was all just in one spot, so it was easier, yeah. Now, I have a continuous glucose monitor that's on my back of my arm. I don't have to poke my finger ever. I just take my phone because there's an app on it. I scan it and it tells me how much my blood sugar is. So, yeah, it's great. I don't have to poke my finger anymore. So when I turned 18, I really, really, really wanted a tattoo. And then I found like the symbol for like God's greater than the highs and lows. And so the way I did it was like, I, like I'm greater than highs and lows, like high blood sugar and low blood sugar. So I have that tattooed on my arm. I kind of, I think it's cool. And then I have the day I was diagnosed. Reminds me that I'm greater than the highs and lows.